Alright, so what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Black Ops 4 video here today on the channel. Now before we get into today's video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to these CODs only for being the first comment and like on my most recent video. If you guys want a shout out like you see here on screen, all you need to do is be the first person to comment on my video and be the first person, per, first person to like the video um, and then you'll get a shout out as you see here on screen. So let's jump right into today's video. Now as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail of this upload, I'm going to be covering the most overpowered Maddox class setup that you can get in the uh, current 1.05 patch and build of Black Ops 4. Now I'd like to make a little disclaimer before we actually jump into the class setup itself and stuff like that. I'm recording this off theatre mode, so, you know, I don't want anyone commenting about the recoil. For some reason, theatre mode, no matter what gun you use, always adds, like, no recoil, even in Black Ops, uh, Black Ops 3. I don't know if it did it in Black Ops 2, I can't remember that far back, or BO1, but in this game in Black Ops 3, theatre mode just seems to take away all the recoil from your gun. I don't know why it works like that. But anyway, there is actually added recoil to this, trust me, they even nerfed the recoil on it in the most recent update, so just chill, okay? When you're watching the gameplay, you know, you may not know about the recoil, um, you know, in theater mode and how it works, you might think, oh god, this gun's overpowered, like it's got no recoil. Trust me, it has recoil, but it just melts so quick that you don't really even notice it. But anyway, we're gonna jump straight into the video. And just to quickly go over what happened to the Maddox in the most recent update, it got slightly increased recoil of the first and second shots, and then the Echo Fire Operator mod removed recoil penalty when equipped so it pretty much increased the recoil on the normal version of the gun and then removed uh, the, the penalty the recoil penalty for the echo fire op mod so um yeah so jumping right into the setup man i'm going to be running elo as my first attachment now that's pretty common to run on the maddox nearly everyone runs it and the reason i do is because between you know reflex and elo elo definitely feels a lot smoother and i don't like using the iron sights on this gun they feel bulky and in your face so I really love running ELO on it. It just feels very, very smooth. Then the next attachments I'm going to be running is Quick Draw 1 and 2. Yes, Quick Draw 1 and 2. Now, the great thing about Quick Draw 1 and 2 is that for the second Quick Draw, you actually get maximized aiming speed and increased peripheral vision while looking down sights. Uh, so I think the perif peripheral vision is you just get like a wider screen when you're aiming down sights if that's, you know, if that's the correct uh, definition of you know increased peripheral vision because if you guys remember in advanced warfare there was that peripheral perk that gave you a bigger mini map and i'm pretty sure that's what this does it just widens your screen or your view when you're aiming down sights i think i don't even know honestly i don't i don't have it for that i use it for the maximized aiming speed and that is just like you'll see in this gameplay this gun absolutely snaps dude the quick draw 2 makes it like a laser like it just lasers people it's like aimbot honestly it's like aimbot it just locks on to people it's absolutely insane and then I'm using stock because stock with any assault rifle just feels so smooth and good to use and that's pretty much going to be the attachments for um, for this setup now moving on to the gear and perks I'm gonna be running acoustic for my gear I run this because it is just so overpowered I've talked about this in a lot of class setups that I've been doing but acoustic just gives you such a, a huge advantage over people um, of course, if they're not running Dead Silence, because Dead Silence actually counters Acoustic, if you're running Dead Silence, you will not be, you know, tracked by Acoustic, and same goes for the other people, if you're running it, then they won't see it, so if you guys are both running it, then you're not gonna see each other on your on your radar, and the indication that the Acoustic gives you, it's kind of like having a VSAT, but in a different way. Um, and that's just the amazing thing about acoustic. So that's what I'm running. Now getting on to the perks, I'm running scavenger for my first perk. Now, I've talked to you guys a lot about the crash specialist and how I don't really run scavenger because of that, but I've just kind of found that, you know, sometimes I'll run out of ammo before I'm even able to use my assault pack and it's good to be able to pick up ammo when you need it, but at the same time, you can get that so much extra ammo by using the assault pack and plus you get the 50 extra health as well but I just use scavenger because yeah like I said sometimes I run out of ammo before I get my assault pack and it's just good to have ammo on the go. The next perk I'm going to be running is lightweight. Now I kind of have to run lightweight on every assault rifle class because SMGs are fine, you already have increased speed anyway because, you know, they're a submachine gun, you run faster with them, but if you don't run lightweight with an assault rifle class or anything else besides an SMG, you feel like a slug. Like, honestly, I've tried to run gung-ho and other perks using um, assault rifles and stuff, but lightweight just gives you that light, fast, you know, speed. It's just good to use. I don't really have much to talk about with lightweight. It just gives me a good feel with the class and just m makes it really smooth. And then the last perk I'm going to be running is Dead Silence. Now, like I talked about with, uh, you know, acoustic before, how if you're running Dead Silence, 
someone else will not be able to pick you up with their uh, acoustic, it is really, really good to have. And not even just the acoustic, just the actual um, advantage of having lightweight. If you know where people are before they know where you are, and you can't be heard at all, like your footsteps are so quiet, I mean, that's a huge advantage. And then you've got Quick Draw 1 and 2, which is just so snappy. Stock with the mobility, and then ELO, the smoothness. Or oh, just the whole class setup just boils down to being overpowered. So I hope you guys enjoy this class setup, man. Leave a like on the video, drop a sub, hit that bell as well for more Black Ops 4 gameplays like this, class setups, tips and tricks videos, nuclears, everything like that, man. I'd love to see new people, new faces on the channel. Um, yeah, it's just amazing, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a great day, guys, and I'm out. Bye -bye.